Look at the marvelous question and give it a try by pausing the video. We are given two wires of density lambda and a charge minus q comma m at midpoint of it, and they have displaced it perpendicular to the plane of rod, and thus it performs SHM. What it would do if it were displaced just to right or left? If it were displaced to left, then you are right, it will go completely to left side because the forces at midpoint are balanced. But if we go to either sides, then here the net forces aren't balanced and thus it gets completely pulled to the right. And on this side, if it were taken, then it would be completely pulled towards left. But that, that's the not issue in there because we need to displace it perpendicular to the plane of wires. So suppose this is the two infinite wires and here minus q comma m. We are given that distance between two wires is 2d and this is as midpoint. So this is d and this is also d. Suppose that, that is displaced by amount x. x is very small. This is just for illustration purpose and here we have theta. Of course, some force acts on the charge Q at any point on the plane due to infinite wires. And what is that force? Force due to infinite wire is given by 2k Q lambda by R, right? So here I have 2k q lambda by under root d square plus x square as the force due to this. Now if you see then the component f sin theta cancel each other and the only two components that is f cos theta exist two times because from this also this this wire and this wire both give the components while sine components are cancelled if you would have taken angle theta here then you know that only f sine theta would be existing and f cos theta would get cancelled in case the theta would be here okay now let's proceed further. I have f net equal to 2 times f cos theta 2k lambda by d square plus x square root and what is cos theta? Cos theta clearly you can see x by hypotenuse that is under root d square plus x square. So x by under root d square plus x square whole square. Okay because it is multiplied twice and now I have this as 4 q lambda x by d square plus x square. Wait a second. They have said that x is very small. So of course can you neglect x square in respect of d square? Yes, you can do so. So We have d square left on neglecting this. So, taking value of k as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, we have q lambda x by d square pi epsilon naught. Now we know that force equal to mass into acceleration. And what is acceleration? Acceleration is omega square x. Why I am writing it in these terms is we know time period is 2 pi by omega. And we need to find value of omega and then put it in this equation and we will get time period. So force is q lambda by d square pi epsilon naught. This x and x cancel out each other. Okay equal to m omega square 
m will go here and root so we have time period as 2 pi by omega and omega is So let's see if we have options. So our first option is absolutely right one. 